Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing my Modern Dog Collectors Convention Haul video and it is quite a haul. Lindsay and I were driving home from Indianapolis and she's like, so how many dolls do you have? And I started counting them up and I was a little disgusted with myself, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but that's okay, we can always find room, make room, and we can rehome some other dolls, so it'll be fine. But anyway, I wanna go through and tell you about each of the dolls that I got and tell you whether it was a doll from one of the modern doll events or seminars or whether it was a doll from the sales room. So let's get started. I'm gonna start here with this one in this little package here. This is the Tata Centerpiece doll from the Final Banquet. Tata was our, um, convention doll and she is really really sweet she's really really small and I don't typically do well with small dolls so we're gonna see how that goes for me she's almost like OB 11 size she's a little tiny travel doll but she came with her little travel house and everything and I, Meadows dolls are just so cute I just couldn't resist but like I said we'll see how it goes because she is really really small for me and I oh it's just she's small but she is adorable next up i'm going to show you guys we've got the bb flockling um whim and primrose this is whim he was a centerpiece doll from the mule event and i just love him i love this is about this is about as small as i like to go okay are these are the shoe hoos i love rosa shoe hoos they are my favorite of her small of her, of her dolls they're my favorite of the smaller dolls and i love them because they're they're dressed so intricately so wonderfully from an artist in ukraine and they're just fantastic i just love the expression on their faces i love how adorable they are that's whim now primrose here i'm going to show you how she is created she they've got they're like they've got molded hair they kind of remind me of cupies and I collected Cupies a lot um, when I was a kid. I still have Cupies. I don't actively collect them now, but I have quite a few in my collection. But um, their hair is like molded. And then she has this little, I had taken it off, um, this little primrose, I guess the floral headband. Just so, so sweet. I just love the shoe hoos so much. So this was the souvenir doll from the event and then Wim was the centerpiece doll from the event. So these are both from the BB Flockling. Um, hers was a dinner event if I'm remembering correctly. So we had that for dinner. Now another event doll was Chuckle. This is from Mushroom Peddler and Chuckle was from the Alice in Ponderland breakfast event with Mushroom Peddler and when I tell you I wanted the centerpiece to go with this doll so bad. I wanted it so bad, but I didn't get it. It was the um, Alice Impling that goes with Chuckle. Now, Chuckle is also small, but here's what I, I like about Chuckle. You're not gonna be changing Chuckle's clothes. So I can actually deal with this size pretty easily because there's no clothes to be changed. What I have a hard time with is changing the clothes on small dolls. I'm actually gonna take Chuckle with me to Disney World in a couple weeks. So I'm excited about some fun pictures um, with Chuckle. I wanna try to get a Cheshire Cattail. They have the Cheshire Cattails at, um, at one of the um, cafes at the Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna try to get one of those and take Chuckle's picture with that. We'll see how that goes because I'm going for the Halloween party so I'm not sure if they'll have those out, but Chuckle is going on that trip. And I love that, now, I love that he is small, okay, but, but and it's gonna fit in my little, I have a little fanny pack for Disney World, so he'll fit in my little fanny pack, but I don't have to worry about clothes and shoes and things like that with him, so. I just love him so much and he's very glittery and shimmery and if you want to see more in depth on all of these if you look back through my videos i'll actually make a modern doll playlist you can look at the modern doll playlist and there there is um the event uh footage for each event and shows the doll at the end so that is chuckle right there now from the sales room i got one of the number one dolls I wanted, and I can't pull her out of here because, it, well, maybe I can pull her out of here. Let's see if I can without disrupting the entire, the entire um, ecosystem here. Yeah, I got her. Okay. Big pink Ruth. I was wanting a big Ruth really badly. That was like my number one, what I wanted from the sales room, and I got this big pink Ruth, and she is so amazing. There were several roofs over the course of the Modern Doll Weekend, and there was one big, I think she was white. She might have been cream. She was white or cream. 
and she lasted a really long time on the sales table. I was actually super shocked that she lasted so long, but I got the pink. Pink is what I wanted. I was wanting pink or tan, either one, and I can't believe that I actually got the pink. Oh, I love her so much. So anyway, very, very happy to have gotten that doll because um, she was like at the very top of my wish list. Let's see if I can slide her back down in here once again without disrupting. I cannot believe I just did that. All right, from our little darling dinner, I believe it was, we got uh, Caroline. This is from that, and she is actually the um, middle skin tone. So they, the little darlings have like a, a light, a middle, and a darker skin tone. She's the middle skin tone, and I love the skin tone that she has. I still haven't taken the plastic off her arms. I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> um, but she's just really beautiful. Love her outfit designed by Magalie. I have video of that um, on the YouTube channel. And she also, if you're in the Little Darling group on Facebook, she posted the actual original video, which is better quality than what I took because I was recording a recording. Um, but just an absolutely fantastic, beautiful doll. Um, love the whole story about how the dress was designed and she's just stunning. So I really love her. I think she's so pretty. One of the, every year I feel like the little darling event doll gets prettier and prettier. And it's, it's like every year they kind of outdo themselves. So really happy about her. I'm going to set her up here though because I'm afraid she's going to fall. Now, this is a Blythe doll from, I actually did a Blythe seminar and I had my friend Diana from Matilda Pink design us an exclusive outfit for Blythe. She has had her Blythe work um, written about in magazines and she's very, she's a very famous designer, okay? She's had her work featured in all kinds of places. And I got her to do us an exclusive dress with Blythe. We had an assortment of Blythe. I ended up with the Float Away Dream Blythe, which um, I really love. I would have been happy with any of them because I like them all. I think she'll look really cute and I like her little her little balloon dress. I think it's super sweet. So I haven't opened her yet either. I'm saving her for a rainy day because I am, I am tightening up the belt and I am closing down the cards and I am not buying any more dolls for like at least the next six months. Those are famous last words, right? So I'm going to save her for a day when I really want to open a new doll. So that's her. Now, there's three other dolls in boxes here. I got them from the helper room. So the helper room, we do tickets and you, you can buy tickets. I bought $100 worth of helper room tickets this year and I put in and I got this Barbie from 1990 and I got Ariel and Eric also from around the same time. I was in second grade when The Little Mermaid came out and I had the Tycho, Eric, and Ariel. I still have my Ariel. She's not this version, but it's just really cool to have gotten these. It's funny because um, we went to actually, Janet was the person who accepted a lot of our deliveries and stuff for us because she's local to Indianapolis and we went to pick up some of the stuff. This She donated this to the helper room and I saw it and I was like, I'm putting all my tickets in there. And I put almost all my tickets in there and I was late to the helper room because we were filming an interview. Lindsay and I were filming an interview and I got into the helper room and I didn't know what they had called yet and Mary um, called me over and said, I've got some stuff for you. And it was this, I had won it. So, cause they, the good thing about the helper room is you don't have to be present to win. So they know what sequence, like you can see my ticket here is stuffed in there. They know who's got which sequence of tickets. So if they pull your number and you're not there, they'll hold your stuff for you. So that was really cool that they held that for me. Very excited about that. Now, from my event, which was a snack event, like a snack time event, we, I got my Susie's from Brazil. So I got one of each because we had some left over at the end. I wish it had sold out. There are some, by the way, I didn't, I forgot to mention that. In our Modern Doll online souvenir shop, there are some of the Susie's, which please go buy them so that I can continue to do the International Playline event. There are a few Chuckles and there are some Little Darlings as well. And I think there, there might have been a Tata, maybe. I don't know. There's a few things left over though of of dolls in our souvenir shop. If you guys want to go check it out, you might stumble across something you'd like to have. But there are some of these Susie's from Brazil left and I wanted one of each one of them because I'm just a super fan of Susie and of the International Playline dolls. And so I was really happy I was able to get all three um, of them. And yeah, so that was my event. So that's the, the International Playline dolls now. Very exciting. 
very, very exciting from Odd Anomalies. Kaylin Card, you may have seen my interview with her. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. So I got a bucket and she's got, um, whoops, she's got her little, I did that wrong, didn't I? How does this slide? The thing about these buckets is they're very, um, there we go. They're very like tactile, like you can play with them and stuff. So there's my bucket's little flower and she is pink and purple and I just adore her so much i'm very happy to have gotten her and that's you know she's just so sweet i just love her i love her or them i guess she could be a them um and then i got hatchet as well from her sales table um let's see here's hatchet and just amazing love him so much my friend she brought two hatchets and she brought a hatchet kit and i happen to know who got all the hatchets so i got a hatchet my friend corey got a hatchet and um and uh anderson art doll sandy got the hatchet kit she had she had a hatchet kit there and she's gonna make her hatchet into a girl but i am like i was so excited to get him and i have an interview with this artist too on the channel if you want to check that out as well now Nikki Britt. Nikki Britt. Let's talk Nikki Britt. Down here in front, I got the Frankie sculpt. I am so thrilled with this size doll from Nikki. I love the size of the doll. I love the face of the doll. Nikki is one of my favorite all-time artists. She's been doing a lot of tinies lately. And I don't do well with tinies, so I haven't been ordering the tinies. So I was absolutely elated when she came out with this size doll because this is the kind of size I love. It's easy for me to handle. I just like it. It feels good in the hands. So I'm very excited to get both of them. This was our event doll, Frankie, and this was our centerpiece doll, Frankie. And so you can watch that whole um, presentation as well here on my channel from her. Hers was a lunch event, I want to say. So that's one of the cool things about modern doll is you get food and a doll like my two favorite things except cats if it was cats food and dolls it'd be a done deal okay that's probably heaven you can't have all three in one place because you got to save something for heaven right okay so then next we've got um I've got Ava from Anderson Art Dolls. This was our special modern doll collectors convention, Ava, and I just adore her so much. I, I love Sandy as an artist. She's wonderful, and I was really thrilled when I asked her because I actually approached her about doing a seminar for us was really grateful she said yes and also she just did the coolest thing and she put mdcc because she caught she cast all of her own dolls she put mdcc in the actual head of the doll i thought that was incredible i just love that so much and i'm so thankful for it like i just think it's so cool so i was really happy to get her and i'm pretty sure she sold out i don't think there's any of her in the souvenir shop I'm also very excited to get my first Annette Herman doll, and this was from her launch event. This is Aylin, and Aylin is so beautiful. And the cool thing about her, not only is she super gorgeous, only comes in 60, there's only 60 Aylin faces out there regardless of resin tone, but she came with her own doll, and I'm gonna try to show you that. And it, she came in this little box. These are all made by Annette in porcelain, painted by her. She said this part was harder than making the doll itself, was making all these little porcelain dolls. And so this is such a fa fantastic little keepsake um, to have with your doll. And she's holding a doll. So this is like a doll holding a doll holding a doll. So I like to call that dollception. So anyway, really excited to get her as well. Next up, let's talk about my Lulus. These were the centerpiece Lulus from the Marble Halls event. They are so precious. They are the pink resin and it's the big Lulu and the tiny Lulu. And I am really glad I was able to get them. Again, tiny Lulu's awfully tiny, but I probably won't be changing her. So um, she's not tiny, tiny. She's six inches tall, or maybe she's eight inches tall, actually. I think she's eight inches tall. So she's kind of like that shoe size that's like just right at the right size. For me to be able to manipulate and handle um, but my lulu herself has different eyes so these eyes i got from the sales room they're gina rollo's eyes i love her eyes so much um, i had actually bought these eyes with the intention of putting them in my cream lulu that i have here at home but then i decided you know i think they'll look really good in her and so i put them in her and yeah they're beautiful so i just i adore those 
so much. Um, and then from the same event, so those were the centerpieces from the dinner event. The dinner event doll itself was the milk chocolate Lulu, and she is just absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much. She's so pretty in this skin tone. I just love the milk chocolate tone. It's very, very gorgeous. Um, just I love how it's just a delicious skin tone. I don't know what else to say. It's a very nice. It looks great, and I just love what they did with um, all the dresses. And I, I might have mentioned before, but Donnell Wisniewski, and I apologize if I got her last name wrong, but Donnell and some friends uh, made all of the dresses for the centerpiece dolls and the event dolls. So that's really cool that they were able to chip in and help do that. And they did a beautiful job with those. They're amazing. Now, my plum, I got plum at BJDC, but plum got a new outfit from the sales room. So I got this shirt and pair of socks and jeans and this top from Forever Virginia in the sales room. And I love the little kitty cat patch on this top. I wanted to put her in the little colorful hearts for now, um, but I'll eventually change her into this one as well. So I got that outfit for Plum and I wanted to show you guys that because I love Virginia's outfits. I love the way I love her dolls and I love her outfits, like the way she combines fabrics and, and does things to design for her dolls. So I was really excited to get that. Also from Suzy P. Sews, I got another sweater for my big Stella girls. And I think this one's going to go on ginger, which I'm about to talk about in a minute. So I got that. I got a big ginger and this is kind of wild how this happens. So, um, this is Big Ginger. I did not intend on buying her. As a matter of fact, I did not buy her uh, initially. Um, I wanted a Big Ginger, but I didn't like, there was, there were a couple like I, I the, the line was going through and I was kind of hanging around and waiting to see if there were any gingers left over at the end of the, the line or whatever. And every time there wasn't one left. So it was kind of like, well, I'm not gonna get a ginger. Well, anyway. A friend of mine got this ginger and we had the whole thing with the shipping, right? And they needed to ship dolls home and she came to me and she said, Allison, I kind of bought her on a whim and I want to sell her. Um, and you know, you know, I've been doing some of those lottery things on Facebook, like to give people, she didn't want to sell her for like a profit. She just wanted to, you know, sell her for what she paid and kind of, you know, and that, that happens, you know, you, you, you know, you, you go shopping and just buy things on a whim and I'm going to talk about my whim purchase next. But, um, I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I really wanted to get a ginger. And so anyway, long story short, yeah, she's mine. So anyway, I bought her from her. So I got a ginger, which again, like didn't expect to be able to get one. I really wanted one, but I, I can't believe I ended up with, with her. So that's very exciting and very, um, very unexpected. The other very unexpected purchase I made was this Lulu. So this Lulu, I fell in love with her when I went and saw her in the sales room in the morning. She was out in the morning. She is real girl Lulu. I think there were only three real girl Lulus made. So there's only three of these in this resin tone. All right. I saw her that morning staring at me on the sales table. I was like, I love her. I love her. I love her. But I was done, like my budget was done. Not buying anything else, I was done. Cause this was, was this Friday morning or Saturday morning? I can't remember. I think it was, fr it was Friday morning. I was done. So I just, you know, somebody else is gonna have to adopt her. They'll be really excited to adopt her. Anyway, that afternoon I cruised back by through the sales room and Lulu has been moved, but she's in another place and she's like this, standing there on the sales table. And Lindsay said, Allison, she's reaching out to you to take her home. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why didn't anybody buy her? So anyway, I bought her. So yeah, so that was my, like, I wouldn't say it was exactly like an impulse or whim purchase, but she was like my, I always end up going over budget. And this was my, this is what put me there, but I, I couldn't help it, y'all. I mean, I could help it, I'm an adult, but you know. I, when I saw her and when she was still there, I don't make the rules, okay? She was still there that afternoon. She had to come home with me. So here she is. So now after this, I came home with four Lulus, which I didn't expect because I got the two centerpiece Lulus, the event Lulu, and then I got a Lulu from the sales room. So yeah, I did a lot of this was unexpected purchases. That's the way it goes, you know, when you go to a doll convention. So I just have to remind myself, you know, it's okay. You know, you only live once. So here's all the new dolls. I'll find somewhere for all of them. Um, 
But next year, uh, registration is already open for next year for Modern Doll. We are at the Monte Leon in New Orleans. I can't remember the dates exactly, but it's in August. Very excited about going to New Orleans. New Orleans really brings out a lot of the creativity in our artists because they love the city, and I love the city. Last time we were in New Orleans, Lindsay and I ate beignets for breakfast every day. So <laughs> you can eat beignets for breakfast every day, too. Um, but anyway, I hope to see some of you guys there. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!